Hey guys, today I want to show you how to build a 36 volts e-bike battery. If you want to have it in a case like me, you will have limited space for cells and BMS. So first I'm going to estimate how many cells I can fit in. Right now there are 50 cells and one BMS on. And if I try to place the second part of the case, it seals perfect, as you can see. To show you a little quick why I will use 50 cells, well, in order to make a 36 volt battery, I must use 10 cells in series. And since these cells are 2200 milliamp, I can use a maximum of five cells in parallel, which will create an 11,000 milliamp battery. If I use six cells in parallel, the battery will be too large to fit in the case. And if I use only four cells in parallel, the battery will be too small and with a smaller capacity. The BMS is a 10S 20 amps. I will estimate the position of it. Since the battery will sit on the bike frame like that, it means that the weight of the cells inside will lean on the bottom, so in order to protect the BMS from being crushed, I will place it on top. Next, I will spot weld the first parallel group, and because I must create this unusual shape, I will take first four cells, spot weld both terminals, and place the group against a straight surface. Then I will add one more cell with some hot glue, Place a nickel strip and spot weld it again. Now I must place the next parallel group with the negative terminals facing this way. So first I'm going to take these three cells and spot weld their terminals together. When you buy a spot welder, it should come with a support like this to hold the cells together while you are working on them. The support has some little magnets which will keep the cells on. So now I can glue these on the first parallel group and place these in position. Next I'm going to take these two cells and spot weld them together and glue them. A quick tip, you can adjust these copper electrodes to be closer to each other because it will make it easier to work on the positive terminals of the cell. So here I have two parallel groups and next I will connect them in series. Now they are connected in series over here and if I check the voltage of one parallel group, it should be around 3.7 and if I check the voltage of the series, it should be around 7.6. 7.8 to help you understand what are these series and parallel groups i made a battery by connecting two cells in series which will have the same voltage as this one so if i check a little quick it should be around 7.7 .7, while again the blue one will have the same amount 7.7 .7 almost now the difference between these two the blue battery will have a larger capacity of 11 amps while the pink one will have just 2.2 amps. So the blue one will be able to deliver 7.7 .7 volts for a longer period of time compared to the pink one. Now let's come back to this battery where I will keep spot well the rest of the cells in parallels and series until I get to the other end where it should be a plus terminal since the first one I begin with is a minus. All right, so this is the final battery. I spot weld all the nickel strips. I glue the cells together. It feels nice and sturdy. It fits well in the case. Now the next step is to place the BMS in position. I'm going to glue it over here and then solder the wires accordingly. First I'm going to glue a piece of foam to protect the BMS from vibrations. On the case there is a charger connector. And on the other side, there are three pins, but there is no mark to indicate me which one is plus or minus. So I'm going to use a voltmeter to find out. See if I touch these two, you can see on the screen on the voltmeter, there is a minus. So it means I have to switch the terminals of the multimeter. And there we go. I found the plus and the minus. This one is the plus, this one is the minus. On the BMS, you will find three main spots to connect three main wires, P-, C- and B-. I will begin with the B-. 
which will connect to the last negative terminal of the battery. So I will take a black silicone wire, estimate the length, I'm going to solder in between the cells B- is on. Next I will connect these sense wires and I will begin with the black one which will go to the last negative terminal of the whole battery. So I'm going to solder it on the top of this one. Then I'm going to skip one and take the third one which will connect to the first parallel group over here. Doesn't matter where you solder it, it has to be on this group. I'm going to make it shorter, then strip it. Like so and again I'm going to skip one and take the fifth one and connect to the next group so basically I'm going to do this on all this side this side is done now I'm going to flip it over and begin to connect the wires on the other side so here on the other side I'm going to take the second wire next to the black one which is this one and I will connect it to the first group of cells so basically on the other side the little black wire is connected all right now the sense wires are connected on both sides and there are a couple of more wires to connect including the discharge connector so next I'm going to add a discharge wire to the positive terminal of the battery like that so again I'm going to tint in between the cells I'm gonna have three points of contact then the discharge connector is marked there is the plus and here is the minus so I'm going to connect them accordingly see I will isolate it using this non-conductive tape. The negative from the discharge connector will go on P- minus on the PMS. Next I will take care of the charger port. The negative of the charger will go on C- minus on the BMS. And the positive on the battery, the last positive terminal of the battery. Alright, now the battery is ready. The discharge terminal is connected. The charging port is on. BMS is on, everything is connected nice and tidy. Next step is to place the battery in the case. But before that, I'm going to test the charger to see if it does charge. And over there, there's a green light which should become red once I plug in the charger. And it does. It means the battery is charging and working. The BMS is okay. I'm going to place extra foam between the cells and the case. like so when you buy the case they will send you the bolts in order to close the box the handle which will be installed over here and two keys I will install the handle as well it's a little bit tricky because there is a little resort there the handle is in position now I can insert the bolts Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.